The Lord Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. That means that everyone who welcomes the Lord should focus on hearing the voice of the Lord and seek out what the Holy Spirit is saying to the churches. This is key. The past few years, we've been hoping for the Lord to come. It's just that we don't know how to hear His voice. We must listen to the voice of God with our heart and spirit, like two minds thinking alike. Almighty God says, Ah, the array of things of creation. You will all gain new life within my words. You now have a sovereign Lord. Ah, pure and unblemished new world. You shall surely come to revive within my glory. The word of God is the word of God. Despite not knowing the truth or knowing God, when we hear God's word, we feel different. You've hit it on the head. I want everyone to hear the voice of God. Yes, yes we hear it for sure. We'll be able to conduct our, our meetings so safely this time really and really shouldn't have to worry we about really the need to be more Sister careful. Lee, Sister Fong, since last time I spoke with everyone to bear witness that the Lord Jesus has returned as Almighty God, Thank yes. God. who has expressed many truths and is now doing the judgment yes. work. We all feel that the work of Almighty God is true to the Bible prophecies and want to seek out the true way. Thank, Thank God. God. They raised many questions that I wasn't able to answer. Please, fellowship with us and respond to our many questions. Okay. okay. Allow me to raise a question first. The Lord Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. We have been misled by the pastor for years, however. We've waited for the Lord to come on a cloud and take us into the heavenly kingdom, and not seeking to hear the voice of God. Yes. Though some have testified to the words of Almighty God, we haven't listened. So we've been waiting for the Lord for many years, but still have not welcomed Him. You said it yes. well. well. So yes. Well. Yes. Thank the Lord. Only on that day, when I heard you bearing witness of Almighty God's work of the last days, did I understand that the Lord has used words to call to His sheep. The key in waiting for the coming of the Lord is to seek the voice of the Lord. Yes. But now, our greatest difficulty is that we don't know how we should listen for His voice. We're also not able to distinguish between what's God's voice and what isn't. Please tell us about how to be certain once and for all of the Lord's voice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. That's a really yes. good question. So true. Unable to discern the voice of God, we have no way to welcome the Lord. Right. right. We have not been able to welcome the Lord these years because we, we lack know. this. We must listen we very must attentively. We've all agreed, haven't we? Yes, um, thanks be to God. How do we hear the voice of God? The loftiness of the qualities or the length of our experience do not count in this. Believing in the Lord Jesus, what do we feel when we hear many of His words? Though we have no experience or knowledge of the Lord's words, the moment we hear them, we feel that they are the truth, that they have the power and authority. How does this feeling arise? Is it generated by virtue of our experience? No. no. Is this the effect of inspiration and intuition? This proves that people with heart and spirit can all feel the words of God have power and authority. This is actually hearing the voice of God. It yes, is. that's really how that's it is. the way it goes. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, the greatest difference between the voice of God and that of man is, the voice of God is the truth and has power and authority. We can feel it as soon as we hear it. Regardless of whether we can put it into words, the feeling is abundantly clear. Right. Mm-hmm. It is easier to discern the voice of man. No sooner do we hear it, then we feel it is clear. We feel not the slightest power or authority in man's words, and even less we can confirm they are the truth. This is the greatest difference between the words of God and the words of man. Yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's the way I always thought it was. For example, we see that the words of the Lord Jesus have power and authority. When we hear them, we are sure they are the truth. They are really profound, very mysterious, and completely beyond the measure of man. Oh, Isn't yes. that right? Yes. That's great. Yes. Thanks, 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 thanks be to God. God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yeah, thanks be to God. Amen. Now, let's look at the words of the apostles in the Bible. While most are enlightened by the Holy Spirit, they have no authority or power. They are simply correct words, only words that benefit people. Let's also discuss whether man could speak the words that the Lord Jesus did. 
No. No. There's no one who ever could. Yes, not one. That's right. This affirms the words of the Lord Jesus as the voice of God. Making comparisons, aren't we able to distinguish between the voice of God and the yes. voice yes. of man? Yes. 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 Fellowshipping yes. in this way, we're able to distinguish between the voice of God and the voice of man. Mm -hmm. It's easy and simple. It's really great. You're right. You're right. Thank, Thank God. God. Hey, sisters, I would really like to hear how you can be certain that the words of Almighty God are the voice of God. Could you talk more about this, please? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, I would like that. Okay, I will. Almighty God has said so many words in doing judgment work of the last days. As for us, we also did not know that it was the voice of God until we heard that His words were the truth, had authority, and power. So let's watch a video recitation of Almighty God's words. Let's listen and see if the words of Almighty God are really the voice of God. Okay. 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 We watched one last time. It was so yeah. good. You should I'm watch so it too. That we came. Let's watch. Throughout the universe, I am doing my work. And in the east, thunderous crashes issue forth endlessly, shaking all denominations. It is my voice that has led all men into the present. I shall cause all men to be conquered by my voice, to fall into this stream and submit before me. For I have long since reclaimed my glory from all the earth and issued it forth anew in the east. Who does not long to see my glory? Who does not anxiously await my return? Who does not thirst for my reappearance? Who does not pine for my loveliness? Who would not come to the light? Who would not look upon the richness of Canaan? Who does not long for the return of the Redeemer? Who does not adore the great Almighty? My voice shall spread throughout the earth. I wish, facing my chosen people, to speak more words to them, like the mighty thunders that shake the mountains and the rivers. I speak my words to the whole universe and to all of mankind. Hence the words in my mouth have become man's treasure, and all men cherish my words. The lightning flashes from the east all the way to the west. My words are such that man is loath to give them up, and at the same time finds them unfathomable, but rejoices in them all the more. Just like a newborn infant, all men are glad and joyful, celebrating my coming. By means of my voice, I shall bring all men before me. Amen. That's great. Thenceforth, I shall formally enter into the race of men so that they will come to worship me with the glory that I radiate and the words in my mouth. I shall make it such that all men come before me and see that the lightning flashes from the east and that I have also descended unto the Mount of Olives of the east. They will see that I have already long been on earth no longer as the son of the Jews, but as the lightning of the East. For I have long since been resurrected and have departed from mankind's midst and then reappeared with glory among men. I am he who was worshiped countless ages before now. And I am also the infant forsaken by the Israelites countless ages before now. Moreover, I am the all-glorious, 
Almighty God of the present age. Amen. Amen. Let all come before my throne and see my glorious countenance, hear my voice, and look upon my deeds. This is the entirety of my will. It is the end and the climax of my plan as well as the purpose of my management. Let every nation worship me, every tongue acknowledge me, every man repose his faith in me, and every people be subject unto me. Amen. 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 These words have such authority. Yeah, it really feels like the voice of God. It really Great. Yes. me. Oh. That was amazing. As I turn my face to the universe to speak, all mankind hears my voice and thereupon sees all the works I have wrought throughout the universe. Those who go contrary to my will, that is to say, who oppose me with the deeds of man, will fall down under my chastisement. I will take the multitudinous stars in the heavens and make them anew. And thanks to me, the sun and the moon will be renewed. The skies will no longer be as they were. The myriad things on the earth will be renewed. All will become complete through my words. The many nations within the universe will be partitioned afresh and replaced by my nation, so that the nations upon the earth will disappear forever and become a nation that worships me. All the nations of the earth will be destroyed and will cease to exist. Of the human beings within the universe, all those belonging to the devil will be exterminated. All who worship Satan will be laid low by my burning fire. That is, except for those now within the stream, the rest will be turned to ashes. When I chastise the many peoples, those in the religious world will, in differing degrees, return to my kingdom, conquered by my works, because they will have seen the advent of the Holy One riding on a white cloud. All of humanity will follow their own kind and will receive chastisements varying with what they have done. Those who have stood against me will all perish. As for those whose deeds on the earth have not involved me, they will, because of how they have acquitted themselves, continue to exist on the earth under the governance of my sons and my people. Amen. I will reveal myself to the myriad peoples and the myriad nations, sounding forth with my own voice upon the earth to proclaim the completion of my great work for all mankind to see with their own eyes. Amen. 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 Oh. Is better. Thanks be yes. to God. Mm -hmm. so Brothers and sisters, let's read Almighty God's words aloud. Great. 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 Please turn to page 332. I would like to read. Good. Almighty God says, When I created the world, I fashioned all things according to their kind making everything with a visible form gather together with its kind. As the end of my management plan draws ever closer, I will restore the former state of creation. I will restore everything to the way it originally was, profoundly changing everything, so that everything will return into the bosom of my plan. The time has come. The last stage in my plan is about to be accomplished. Ah, unclean old world. You shall surely fall down under my words. You shall surely be reduced to nothingness by my plan. 
Ah, the array of things of creation. You will all gain new life within my words. You now have a sovereign, Lord. Ah, pure and unblemished new world. You shall surely come to revive within my glory. Ah, Mount Zion, be silent no more. I have returned in triumph. Amen. From the mist of creation, I scrutinize the whole earth. On the earth, mankind has begun a new life and has won new hope. Ah, my people, how can you not come back to life within my light? How can you not jump for joy under my guidance? The lands shout in jubilation. The waters ring with gleeful laughter. Ah, the resurrected Israel. How can you not feel pride because of my predestination? Who has wept? Who has wailed? The Israel of old has ceased to be, and today's Israel has risen up, erect and towering, in the world and has stood up in the hearts of all humanity. Today's Israel shall surely attain the source of existence through my people. Ah, hateful Egypt, surely you do not still stand against me. How can you take advantage of my mercy and try to escape my chastisement? How can you not exist within my chastisement? All those that I love will surely live for eternity, and all those who stand against me will surely be chastised by me for eternity. For I am a jealous God. I will not lightly spare men for all that they have done. I will watch over the whole earth, and appearing in the east of the world with righteousness, majesty, wrath, and chastisement, I will reveal myself to the myriad hosts of humanity. Amen. 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 Wow. That's, that's so Praise good. God. How does everyone it's feel, great. having heard the word of Almighty God? It's great. It's great. What, it's it's great. Can you tell that it's really the voice of God? Yes. 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 The words of Almighty God have both authority and power. Yes, they do. Yes, of course. It really is the voice of God. Yeah, we can hear it. Amen. You're right. No person could speak like that. It's the voice of God. It really was a voice of God. Important experience. Why am I not able to hear this? It seems like a person speaking. You're right. The pastor and elder know the Bible better than us. Even they can't see the difference. How can we know the voice of God? The words of Almighty God are so thrilling. I was full of reverence when I heard them. Right. Yes. The Word of God is the Word of God. Despite not knowing the truth or knowing God, when we hear God's Word, we feel different. You've hit it on the head. I want everyone to hear the voice of God. Yes, yes. we hear it for yeah. sure. Yes, Thank I definitely God. hear it. Reading Almighty God's words, we all have the same feeling. We all feel that this is God speaking to mankind. Other than God, who else could ever speak to all of mankind? Who could possibly express to mankind God's intention to save mankind? Who could declare to mankind God's plan for His work of the last days and their final outcome? Who could solemnly declare to the universe God's administrative decrees? Apart from God, no one ever could. Right. It really is true. Only That's God That's absolutely could. correct. Almighty God speaks to the whole of mankind and lets man feel the power and authority of God's words. The words of Almighty God are the direct expression of God. They are the voice of God. Amen. Amen. That's so All amazing. All the words uttered by Almighty God are as if God stands upon the third heaven and speaks clearly to all humanity. Here is where Almighty God is speaking as the Creator to all of mankind manifesting to mankind his unoffendable disposition of righteousness and majesty. When the sheep of God hear the words of Almighty God, though they do not understand the truth in the beginning, and though they have no experience with them, they feel that every word of Almighty God has power and authority, and can affirm that they are the voice of God and the direct utterance of God's Spirit. Amen. 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 That is unbelievable. <sighs> 
God's chosen people only need hear the words of God to affirm they are His voice. So how can all those pastors in religious circles condemn Almighty God? As for those antichrists yeah. who don't recognize God's incarnation and don't admit that God can utter the truth, although they've seen all the truths that God utters and feel that His words have power and authority, they still don't believe that God can speak in this way and won't admit that everything that God utters is the truth. What is the problem here? Can you figure it out for yourselves? Almighty God, incarnate in the last days, speaks to all mankind. But how many of us can hear God's voice? Yes. Yes. There are many in religious circles who see Almighty God speaking, yet they can't discern whether it's the voice of God. They even treat God's words like the words of man and use man's conceptions to judge, slander, and condemn him. Do these people have a heart that fears God? Oh, no, they no. don't. I wonder if that's true. Aren't they the same as the Pharisees of the past? They all hate the truth and condemn God. Yeah, yeah, it's true. God's words have such great authority, such power, but they can't hear that these words are the voice of God. Can such people be God's sheep? No. Oh, no, no. they're not. No, they're not. If they they're can't. unable to even hear God's voice, then they're not God's it's sheep. True. It's true. Yes. Their hearts are completely blind. They may hear, but they don't know. Though they see, they can't understand. How can such people be worthy of rapture? They really mm -hmm. can't they're be raptured. just like the Pharisees. Yes. God incarnate in the last days has uttered the truth and exposed the people in religious circles. The true believers and the false, the lovers of truth and those who loathe it, the wise and the foolish virgins, all people are naturally divided, each into their kinds. Amen. As Almighty God says, all who are wicked will be chastised by the words in God's mouth. All who are righteous will be blessed by the words in His mouth. Amen. And so, those who can hear the voice of God have met the Lord's second coming and been raptured before God's throne attending the Feast of the Lamb. These people are the wise virgins and the most fortunate of mankind. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. 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 The work of God is so oh, authentic, so, so practical. Yes. How wise God is. Amen. God becoming flesh and speaking marks the difference between the wise and the foolish virgin. Yeah. The Word of God decides who will be raptured and who will be cast away. This shows God's justice and righteousness. Amen. God would never play favorites. Yes, yes. Thank God. Glad we could yes. be here together. Thank, Thank God. God.